Hey guys, before we get into this video, I wanna give a quick disclaimer. This is our rawest video we've ever produced here at South 30. Um, there is some extremely audible noises, especially during the shots um, of harvesting some of these pigs. I've done a lot of editing. I've tried to get a lot of the um, disturbing, what I thought to be disturbing content out. But to some viewers, there may or may not be still some, some content, some part in this video that might offend you. Uh, so we just want to come up front and be honest with you uh, and let you know up front. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. We had a blast and there's many more hog videos to come. What's up everybody it is february 9th um middle of the day we are gonna hunt this afternoon season goes out tomorrow however this is uh one of our spots that we have we got the last year two years ago and you can see all this right here some pigs this place has always produced pigs you can see where they've came in come in here i still got this cold so you hear me hacking and coughing and chewing on a cough drop so what we're about to do today, I got a feeder that I pulled out of because tomorrow is the last day of hunting season. And it was already empty. I wasn't gonna fill it up just for one more day. Just went to the feed store. We're gonna put a tripod feeder up here, fill it up with some feed, see if we can start getting the uh, pigs to back to daylight. And Forty-eight, eight o'clock a.m. Five seconds. Let's test it. Yeah, lower. That thing's slinging. All right, we got it set up. Give it about two weeks. Let them get comfortable. Get used to it. We're gonna come in here and see if we can't sling some arrows. What's up, everybody? It is. The day after Valentine's Day, February 15th. Just got off work, about to fly down here, hang my saddle set, and one of these pigs, maybe two, is gonna get an arrow tonight. All right, game plan is, it is hot, 77, and it's 4.03. However, I got a tactic cam in here, been running for, I don't know, week, week and a half. Let me get that zoomed out. Week, week and a half. <clears throat> the majority of the pigs that are daylighting are coming out uh five five fifteen so i got an hour i'm not a hundred yards from where i'm going to set up the wind's perfect i got an hour i'm going to throw my saddle on i got to get all my steps and everything out of the back of the truck i'm going to run down there <clears throat> set the saddle up come back get my bow and hopefully we'll be in a tree mm -hmm. 30 minutes
hearing them for over an hour. They've been in the woods behind me just a squealing and cutting up. I just never thought there was one coming here on me. I was like, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, boom, they came. There were some big pigs in here. That big, big black sow. She's got babies. That's why I didn't shoot her. I wanted to have them. And then maybe we can get one 20, you know, 15, 20 pounds. Curtis can put it on the old smoker. That first one I shot in the forehead because I wanted her to drop. She bounced maybe 10 feet and piled up. Uh, and that second one I put right in the goodie box, right in the double lung. I didn't want to shoot that big one behind the shoulder because I knew I knew she was going to run and I didn't want to trail her. I mean, there's so much swamp around here. I would hate to not recover her. So that's why I chose to shoot her in the head. She was 16 yards. If you can't shoot a 150 pound pig in the head at 16 yards, you don't need to be bow hunting. All right, I'm going to get down, get these babies ready to roll. 
I got some cleaning to do before I get to bed tonight. I was literally, literally packing up. <clears throat> I just called Justin on the phone and said, dude, I got two down. And that pig, I was sitting there talking on the phone, it came right in. I don't know if y'all might have heard it, but I drew my bow back. But I decided not to. It's getting late, and I don't have time to clean three of them. Hell, I really don't have time to clean one. Yeah, two that I got. We are in the hog hole, boys. Boom. Ain't nothing better than shooting pigs. I'm going to go ahead and get down. I still hear them all out in these woods behind me. They keep coming in all night. I can shoot every air. I got up if I didn't want to. All right, I'm going to get down for real this time. All right, finally got down. <clears throat> Uh, for YouTube purposes, because of that first shot was in the head, um, I'm not going to show it on camera. I don't want to get flagged by the, the new YouTube rules. However, we did get, this is the second one, not showing too much. Perfect eating size, maybe 50 pounds. As I'm recording this right now, there's pigs all, all behind us. I guess they're just waiting on us to, to leave. I got two pigs I got to load up and clean. Catch y'all later.